G'day mates, in today's video I want to discuss how we can fix Fortnite. Not even saying Fortnite is broken, but I think right now Chapter 3 Season 2 could be the best season of Fortnite ever and there's just one small thing Fortnite needs to do that they have never done before. And that's what I want to discuss in today's video. It's not talking about nerfing the SMG, bringing the pumps back. I'll make a wishlist video in the near future. This is just something that I think Fortnite has never done and I have absolutely no idea and I want to discuss what it is with you because it could seriously make Fortnite the best it has ever been. This is basically like maybe my first wishlist video. I'm not going to talk about exactly what I want done with weapons and the meta and all that. What I want to talk about is the fundamental issue with Fortnite right now and why you have some people like Cypher PK and Ninja saying that it's one of the best seasons ever and so many people absolutely hating it. And the fact that both of them are right, and I know that sounds confusing. How can such a large group of the community absolutely love a season and so many people absolutely hate it? It's an issue we've had for the longest time. It's the fact that comp players love it, casual hate it. Casuals love it. Comp players hate it. How do you fix this? It is by finally splitting the loophole and splitting the game into two separate games within the Battle Royale. So having a proper developed ranked game mode that is actually rewarding and fun to play and you feel like you can improve at it and you play in a meta that rewards skill and then having all the fun crazy stuff in pubs that all the casuals and content creators are loving. It would be so healthy for the game. As a content creator who tries to make content towards both but obviously I cater heavily towards a competitive scene, it's really sad to see that if now let's free take for example chapter 3 season 2 spaz comes back it's a pump meta smg gets heavily nerfed mk7 gets heavily nerfed they take out spider-man all the crazy mobility and we're back to a bare bones shotgun meta a lot of people in competitive would be extremely happy to see that but a lot of casuals would absolutely hate it and it's not that one is more important than the other you can argue that if you know casual goes away fortnite dies but i would also argue if competitive goes away fortnite dies as well right now it is being held and sustained by both parties but unfortunately we keep doing this backwards and forwards where each season only one of them is really happy and yes there are some casuals right now who maybe don't like the spray meta and there's probably some comp players who maybe do like the spray meta this is not just obviously completely all-encompassing of both groups but usually there's a very large majority and the way we can fix this is splitting up those loopholes so for example like public matches keep them with all the crazy fun stuff we're splitting the loophole more and more like pubs right now have different uh you know amounts of spider-man you have the grenade launchers all the wild weeks are going in there as well you've got crazier items you have the mythic smg there are differentiations between pubs and arena and ranked game modes but it's not really enough for me what i would love to see is something as simple as saving this season could have been done by just having the smg and maybe the mk7 do less damage or less fire rate or less damage to structures or less range just nerfing them only in competitive only do that in arena and tournaments and then you've still got a really casual great meta that people love in pubs just spraying and having fun and not having to go for full 200 pump full piece edit clips but then also competitive is still overly very very happy like that was one of the main issues with this season outside of that the map is phenomenal the actual look and feel of the game right now is really cool spider-man you know upset some people but i really think the balance did a lot to bring it to the point where yes it's a very strong item in competitive but it's not completely broken you know what i mean and i feel like that needs to be done with an actual ranked game mode as well not just arena with a few different rules i want an actual ranked game mode and what do i mean by that i've talked about this so many times you guys have probably heard it before and everyone always asks me you haven't heard it what do you mean a proper ranked game at aussie arena is ranked it's not really go and watch any video of Noah Riley, Mr. Savage, Benji Fishy, Clicks, Polarized, any of those guys who just go into Arena and just run up 20 bombs. The last kid is basically a potato. They can't even shoot straight or move. And you got them going up against players who are the best in the world. That is not a proper ranked game mode. Go look at any other competitive game. Go look at Valorant, Counter-Strike, Rocket League, League of Legends at the highest ranked division possible, which for us is Champions Division. That doesn't happen in those games because it's a proper ranked game mode where people are versing other the people of equal skill i know you're probably going to say oh but aussie those games only need like 10 people it's easier i do agree making a good ranked mode is easier in games where the lobby is smaller like valorant or league of legends or rocket league but apex legends is a phenomenal game that has a very very good functioning ranked game mode that is also a battle royale and i would argue is less popular than fortnite or at least definitely isn't more popular than fortnite they don't have a way bigger player base to facilitate it and if you go and watch all the apex legends content creators it is amazing you see them play at the highest level which in that game is apex predator lobbies all day and all night and you get to see them run into other pros and the lobbies yes they're not tournament level stacked but the players they are versing are good they're at least a 
good level of pretty insane to pro level where they put up a good fight against the world's best players. Try to get, let's say, Benji Fishy, Mr. Savage, and Entreda into Trio Arena in Champions Division. They are going to be able to split up the map and win every single game as a solo almost definitely in the highest level of ranked game mode. That is not a proper rank system. So again, you can maybe just take Apex Legends system of having a proper rewarding system that lets you go through each rank. And that is how I think the game could be phenomenal because people would be directed to going and playing the ranked game mode to get better at the game, to play a meta that yes, maybe isn't as fun, but it rewards skill. And then if they want to mess around and have a bit of a laugh, they'll go into pubs, which has all the crazy stuff and grenade launchers. There's no siphon. There's, you know, I would argue no skill-based matchmaking because then you're just running into a whole bunch of different crazy people. It would make pubs and Fortnite feel like the old Fortnite. But then if you wanted to actually improve or get better at the game or take it more seriously, you'd go into arena. And this would also mean there'd be less kids sweating in pubs. You wouldn't have guys walking up to you and quad editing one pumping you in pubs because they'd actually go and play the ranked game mode because it's more fun if you want to try. And then you can throw all the crazy stuff at pubs because in my opinion, pubs is best when it is a lower skill ceiling, when bad players can kill better players because that gives everyone a chance to have fun. And that's what Fortnite used to be back in the day. There was just crazy stuff going on. You had all these weird weapons that some of them were terrible, some were way too strong, but everyone had a really fun time with them. And if you didn't like that, go play arena. I think that makes complete sense to almost everyone. And then you'd finally have a Fortnite where both groups are happy. Everyone's happy. When they make an update and the SMG gets nerfed, it maybe only gets nerfed in competitive. So then casuals aren't upset that sweats are ruining the game. And then you've got competitive players not upset that their game is being catered towards a lower skill ceiling meta, like a spray meta, because that's what casuals like. The player base right now is one of the healthiest it's ever been for casuals. Content creators are incredibly happy. A lot of old people are returning to the game. A lot of new people are getting into the game it is in a phenomenal spot except for pros absolutely hate it most pros are not enjoying the game most people are not playing arena unless you're a casual you don't want to touch the game it shouldn't ever be like that it doesn't need to be like that why not just make both groups happy you can start adding things in like late game arena which would make people really fun to just get into a quick version of the mode in the, in the game and just jump in and go crazy i believe that in smaller regions late game arena would be a bit of an issue because it makes arena queues that are already pretty long longer and if you had a proper ranked game mode with more divisions and more awards and more excitement to rank up to get something then obviously queues would get longer so maybe in the smaller regions you'd have to kind of balance how it works but in the bigger regions like eu na east na west to a degree brazil you could easily have a proper rank system that still facilitates good queue times apex legends at the highest level in oc in the smaller regions doesn't really work but that doesn't mean you just shouldn't have it in the game at all for the higher ranks because again you're already not getting queues in some of those regions i used to be in oc I'd get 20 minute queues during the day. So you can't really make it any worse than that to have a proper ranked game mode. And I know I didn't really touch on too much of what a proper ranked game mode would look like. I just said that it'd be great if we had it. I have detailed that out in other videos, but I just believe it's a process of making people verse players of a closer skill level to them. Yes, that would maybe mean the queues are a little bit longer, but it'd be worth it to get into a proper game mode with a meta that feels like it rewards your skill. And then players would play for end game and the games would be more stacked, therefore making them more enjoyable. I don't think it's a process of giving out V-Bucks for every time you win. I think it'd be as simple as making one skin every season. That is the season skin. Let's say chapter three, season two, make it really cool. And it has different styles for how high your ranked is. Maybe you get a back bling. Maybe you get a gun wrap, something to flex that you got the highest rank that season. Maybe even unlock a few tournaments, maybe throw in two tournaments a season where only players the highest rank can actually play in them. Things like this, not just giving out V-Bucks for a win. Cause people think that if you make the game be worth way more placement points, people won't W key each other. People are going to W key, even if the point system was 1 million points for a win and two points for an elim, if they're not getting anything. If you're a decent player at Fortnite, you don't care about your arena points. It doesn't really matter that much because it's doing absolutely nothing for you. You have nothing to show for your time. You have no reward. And if you try to flex them on your friends, it's like, cool, you just played the game more. You might not be better. You just played more because you can literally camp your way to Champions Division and just farm placement. It doesn't mean you're a better player. But if you look at a game like Apex Legends, there's only the top 750 people who are in Apex Predator and that is always going up by the players who are playing well and they're versing other players that are as good as them so if they're winning and going up in points it's impressive they deserve it we're in Champions Division I'm sorry to say it we did have two people this season hit a million points it was exciting towards the end there was a little bit of drama between who was going to get it what was happening but 
other than that, no one thinks they're phenomenally good players. Most people just made jokes about how they have no life and they're just playing too much. And I don't believe that. I don't, I, I'm not saying that at all. I absolutely loved watching Claw and Bronos go at it. I actually know Bronos quite well. I respect their grind. I respect their hustle. But again, a lot of people weren't that impressed because it wasn't the fact that they got really good at the game. They just played it a really, really long time against players who aren't that great. That's not a proper ranked game mode. Your friend who's gone to, was it 5,000 points by just camping in bushes? is now going up against Bronos, who has over a million points in the same lobby. That makes no sense. That is not a proper ranked game mode. No one's going to try to play that to get better at the game. So that is what we need to finally fix Fortnite and get it to the point where you have both groups happy so the game can flourish and grow and do better. And it doesn't matter what the meta is each season. It wouldn't be this whole, oh my God, we're getting the pumps back next season or is it going to be for filthy casuals? And the casuals are thinking, oh, are we going to get another sweat lobby? Are we going to get another uh, sweat meta? Or is next season actually going to be fun? Fortnite never needs to be like that. We've even had the weirdest changes where right now you might not know this in pubs if you go to the covert vault there is a porta potty in tournaments there is a porta potty but in arena there's no porta potty why why is that the one thing that epic chose to change between arena and tournaments if we just d dive into that a little bit more maybe we make arena like a halfway point where the meta is still a little bit fun with some fun items but also still kind of competitive and then tournaments is like a little bit different maybe there's like a couple less fun guns and it's a bit more you know straightforward i still like a competitive meta that is a little bit more spicy a couple mythics in there a couple a bits of mobility some fun i don't want it to be just chapter two season one where it was just straight up you know really really boring but you get where i'm going with this it gets a little bit towards the point where it's more competitive that is what i truly think will fix fortnite and push it to new heights when you make both communities happy instead of always pitting one against the other and choosing which uh season you're going to pick to cater to which group make everyone happy i really don't think it's that hard like I said, this isn't really my meta video. I'm actually going to do a proper conversation about what I think will be best for next season with shotguns. The fact that I really, really want to see a striker pump tack charge meta. No, I don't think bringing back the pump is going to fix the game right now. I think you need to nerf the SMG. I'll talk about all of that in another video very, very soon. I'll talk about snipers, all that stuff you guys love. But I really wanted to kick it off because I didn't think this kind of conversation would fit in a video like that. But I really, really wanted to talk about it because I think that is what is going to save Fortnite. I don't think it's dying it's actually in a really good spot right now but i'd love to see a fortnite where everyone's happy it would just it'd be so great honestly epic please i don't see why we're not doing this i can't think of a single reason why this isn't happening if you guys can think of it or you disagree with me or you agree with me or you have some things to add let me know in the comments down below as always i'd love to hear it all right guys that does it for another video i hope you enjoyed if you did please chuck a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one